Hi students, in today's lecture, we will look at the bit addressable area in AT51. The bit addressable area starts from the address, direct address 20H to 2FH. That is 16 bytes of address. Now, out of the 16 bytes, all the 8 bits of the 16 byte consisting of 128 bits become bit addressable. So what do you mean by bit addressable? So this is if you see this is the block diagram that we made. Now this is the addresses. So this is the actual addresses, direct addresses. And you can see starts from 0 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 2 and 0 to FH. What you can see over here is that the addresses, this is the LSB and this is your MSB. Okay. So here, this is the address starts from 000H. The next bit is address 01. The third bit is address 02 and the fourth bit is address 03. Right. Let us compare first two instructions. Okay. Now let us say set bit. So this is one very simple instruction called as set bit instruction. Now set bit of 0, 0, H. Okay. Now when you have this instruction, what will happen? Okay. So when you look at a set bit instruction, a bit instruction, what you will see is this 0, 0, H. What does it mean? Okay. So does it mean this address? or the 00, 0 direct address. Now this is where you need to understand the bit addressable thing. So when any bit is giving an address, the 00, 0 H corresponds to the LSB of 20 H. So when you am accessing, when I am saying 00, 0 H, it is accessing the least LSB of the 0 to H. Now let us look at the instruction clear 68H. Now when I am talking about 68H, here it means the LSB of address 0x2D. We are looking at the LSB of 0x2D bit addressable area. So when I clear it, whatever value is in there, if it is 1, it will become 0. If it is 0, it will remain the same. Let us take an example again a random address I will pick up is let us say 16 H. So when I say 16 H here again this is the address that will be set. So if it is 0 it will be 1 if it is 1 it will remain the same. Now again just to make my point clear and to avoid any confusion when I said set bit to 20 H it does not mean 20 H this address. Okay. It does not mean that it will set all the bits of this address. What it will do is it will go to address 28. So here it is 20 as 0 x 23. You will have 1 8 to 1 f and 0 x 24 will have address 0 to 0 and this bit will become 1. That particular bit will become 1. So this is how you will be working with bit addressable area. Now the good part about bit addressable area is that you can actually hold state. So if you look at microcontrollers, it are controlling LEDs, switches. So the states are always 1 or 0 or as we know on or off, right? So true or false. So generally in programming, we work on this premise. Okay. So when we want to save some data or bit addressable bit data we can easily use this instruction to store the data and it will save our space also these instructions are comparatively faster so that is why bit instructions is a good feature of microcontrollers and particularly in AT51 now as we have already seen set bit instruction okay bit addressing
then there is clear and then we have ORL so there is another instruction you can do logical bit instruction ANL comma C comma B so you can use carry so when you do bit addressing in the same way when you do ANL A is one of the default operand but when you do with bit carry will be the operand so you have ORL also and then you have complement C and you can complement also bit addressing so we have complementing or you can say toggling so this will toggle you can actually move the carry bit so you can do move c comma b or move b comma c so you can save the carry bit into the bit addressable area so these are some of the instruction but most of the instruction important instruction is the set bit instruction and the clear instruction which we will be using to accessing the io ports now special function registers now special function registers that we have worked with p0 p1 psw psw accumulator these are all called as special function registers Now some of the SFRs are bit addressable. So basically I can do this clear accumulator dot 5. So the fifth bit of the accumulator I can clear. I can even set bit accumulator dot the seventh bit that is the MSB I can set it. So so this is also one way of accomplishing it. I can even do clear port 0 pin number 2 set bit port 1 pin number 3. So this is some very simple examples of how I can operate also on an SFR. We will see this when we are looking at IO ports but this is to complete the instruction formats. This is how you operate with clear and set bit. So with this we are completed with the bit instructions. Happy learning. Goodbye.